<laughs> oh, do it, do it, do it. Oh my god. Oh, do it, do it. They're back. They're back. They're back. They're back. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, I woke up to um, maybe the greatest surprise ever. Architects have released a new song. Architects, as um, I'm, I'm gonna assume most people who watch this video know who Architects are, one of the most important uh, metalcore bands of the last like decade and just in general really they're just like they're a really important band and they're really like they're legends basically from the instrumentation to the vocals to the lyricism and uh, this band has also been through a lot their guitarist Tom died in it was 2016 right and um, after that they released a, an album called Holy Hell which sort of dealt with grief and and um, processing that and and uh, just in general, how society deals with grief and everything like that as well, on top of like their own experience, or specifically um, uh, Dan, who is Tom's uh, twin brother. Like they have albums of just flawless material, like Daybreaker, uh, Lost Together, Lost Forever, All Our Gods Have Abandoned Us, and then Holy Hell. Check them out if you haven't. Like the music will speak for itself. I, like, <laughs> And they're back with a new song called Animals. This is a surprise single off of their upcoming album. The album is apparently called For Those That Wish To Exist. Let's just get into it. I, um, I think I've said enough. Um, I don't know, I feel like this one is gonna maybe go back a little bit more to the polit- I'm not- I don't know if they're gonna go more political with this, or they're- or if they're gonna continue off of some of the stuff that they, you know, um, did on, um, holy hell. If they're gonna- if it's gonna be more similar to that, or if it's gonna be more like- or if we're gonna get more songs like These Colors Don't Run, and that kind of stuff. <laughs> okay, here we go. Alright. <laughs> oh yes. Woo. This feels sort of different. It doesn't quite sound like typical architects so far. Like the riffage is not as um like they don't have that, you know, doomsday riff like every cuz every band fucking copies that riff. So yeah, this feels a bit different, but uh, I'm, oh, I'm here for it. And fucking Sam, just d destroy us, please. Come on. That's a fucking... Ooh. Yes. Ooh. Oh. Like, Sam Carter is one of the greatest vocalists to ever fucking live. God, I'm- ah! Okay, let's just continue, I'm- <laughs> sorry. Here we go. Ooh! Okay. Ooh! This is very different for them. This is not even, like, at all like their old stuff. I'm interested. <laughs> love that love the heavy fucking riff with him saying like should i just pull the pin and the whole atmosphere of it it really just like builds this sort of really ominous and fucking <laughs> or almost like fucking scary um atmosphere it's really cool His singing is a lot more relaxed than this. Like a lot less, there's a lot less of like that super fucking loud shouting or like the typical architect sort of Sam Carter. Ooh. 
Oh my god. <laughs> oh, do it, do it, do it. Oh my god. Oh, do it, do it, do it, boys. Come on. Oh, do it. Oh, <laughs> do it. Oh. This better fucking hit. I'm sorry, this better fucking hit. <laughs> Go into the chorus. Yeah. Damn! I love they're experimenting with like new sounds. Really catchy chorus too. <laughs> ah. Really like just such a dark atmosphere. Oh, fucking hell. Fucking hell. Damn, that was different. That was really different. That was extremely different from what they normally do. But, I did like it. I really, really, really enjoyed it. Like, I mean, a big concern about a lot of bands, about a lot of metalcore bands, a lot of heavy bands in general, like, a big concern, generally, uh, for the fans is, like, if is if they're gonna go, like, pop or radio rock. And Architects haven't done that. They haven't done that. They've got more in a, um... I don't really know. It's more... They've sort of... It's more modern metalcore, and it's, it's very different from their old stuff or from their other stuff in general. It's very different from even Holy Hell. I'm really curious to find out like what the rest of the album's gonna sound like. Cause like, this is so different. I'm not worried that they're just gonna, you know, go uh, pop or radio ride. I I'm not really, I, I highly doubt that. I highly doubt that will happen, but I'm curious. Like this is, cause this is a lot less like the typical arc. I mean, Sam isn't even singing really in this, more normal sort of it doesn't do as much as of his like iconic sort of singing but it changes it up it really is like it, it they've they've managed to still you know it still sort of sounds like them but it also doesn't like it's still got you know the the atmosphere of an architect song but it's also so different it's got like the symphonic elements of the piano and, and that stuff as well but it's also got this more more pop sort of elements to it which I think a lot of bands are gonna do anyway, um, which I'm I'm excited about because I really like this style. I really like bands that are able to adapt to different things, and it seems like they're trying to do that here, and they're definitely succeeding, um, at least with this song. This is yes. It's so good. Ah, okay. <laughs> I do my best, but everything seems ominous. Not feeling blessed, quite the opposite. This shouldn't feel so monotonous. Um, it never rains, but it pours. We're just a bunch of fucking animals, but we're afraid of the outcome. Don't cry to me because the fiction that we're living it says I should pull the pin. This is what I love about, um, Architects. It's just like their lyricism is just so... It's so special because it's like it's so them. I mean, obviously, it's not going to be quite the, the the exact same as like previous material before Holy Hell because they don't have um, Tom anymore, who wrote at, at most or most of or if not all the lyrics. But this is definitely like still very much like an architect's sort of song. I dug my heels. I thought that I could stop the rot. The ground gave away. Now I've lost the plot. Fucked it again. That was all I've got. It never rains, but it pours. Life is just a dream within a... Ooh. 
Life is just a dream within a dream within a dream within a... <laughs> Buried under dirt, a diamond in the mud, infinity is waiting there because nobody can burn a glass cathedral. That's cool. This is gonna be um, a bit unpredictable. I feel like this album is not gonna be, uh, it's gonna be hard to predict. Like what, what direction they're gonna go in for the rest of the album. Yes, this doesn't feel like Architects miss complex guitar riffs and Sam's emotional scream. Also the synths make it really bring the horizon-esque. But you know what? This song is fucking cool and I like how they keep constantly evolving and don't stick to just one sound. That's the thing. I don't think they will ditch the typical or I don't think they will completely ditch every part of their sound. I think they're just exploring other things while also implementing their own iconic things. I highly doubt Sam is going to be singing like this for the rest of the album. I highly doubt that the rest of the album is going to have the same type of riff riffage. It's architects. They're not going to... They're, they're going to, you know, do architects. <laughs> and I think it's really cool that they're able to actually change their style while still, you know, Still being really fucking good. Somebody tells me we're about to get the most diverse Architects album yet. Hyped. Yes. Exactly. I do see how this could scare some people though. Into like being a little bit worried like what this album is actually going to sound like. Um, and I 100% and I get that. I just feel like um, this is a good single. And they're changing stuff up. So yeah, overall I really enjoy this. Um, very different but still very good. I didn't expect them to change their sound. I didn't expect that at all, really. But at the same time, when I saw the thumbnail for the video, some screenshots and stuff like that, um, I sort of, you know, realized, like, yeah, this is probably going to be different. It feels a little similar to uh, the song Resentment by A Day To Remember. Not like sound, like, it's not like it sounds like that song. It's just the whole, the fact that it is a heavy song, but it also has some pop elements to it. And um, yeah, I don't know. I think they do it well. Um, I'm excited to hear what they're gonna how they're gonna continue to experiment with this stuff Let me know what you guys think of this song. Are you did you enjoy it? Did you hate it? Um, <laughs> are you worried the, about the new album? Are you excited? I think once we hear another single I think we I think we can then start properly sort of predicting where they're going with it But anyway, that's it for the video today Thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed it Make sure to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel if you are new also join my discord server I have a discord server now you can join it. It's linked in the description me, yeah. Also, let me know what other bands and artists you want me to talk about, review, react to, and I will see you later. Goodbye!